The BDS movement in Australia has been around for a while now, but has again reared its ugly head by calling for patrons and partners to boycott the upcoming Sydney Festival over its $20,000 partnership with the Israeli Embassy in Canberra. The money will be used to stage a contemporary dance performance created by Israeli choreographer Ohad Naharin at the Sydney Opera House. As you would expect, the Sydney Festival is a celebration of all things lefty, including such art as a massive block of ice suspended over Sydney Harbour with a sole woman on top scrambling to protect it from climate change. But BDS Australia, yes, there is such an organisation and it has over 8,000 followers on Facebook, has come out and said that the use of the Israeli Ministry of Foreign Affairs logo in promotional material creates, quote, a culturally unsafe environment for artists and festival attendees of Arab background, particularly those who are Palestinian. This BDS coalition includes the Arab Australian Federation, Greens for Palestine, and Jews Against the Occupation Sydney. To its credit, the festival board has since written back to them and told them to basically nick off, although they did use more arty diplomatic language. But that was just for this festival, and it will no doubt surface again next year, but the anti-Semites aren't quite finished yet. Two groups are already believed to be withdrawing from the festival in protest. They are Bankstown Poetry Slam and Arab Theatre Studio in Granville. Oh well, no loss there, in my opinion. But the real question here is, where are our Jewish communal organisations? What has the Executive Council of Australian Jewry had to say? Or the New South Wales Jewish Board of Deputies? It is also not unreasonable to expect the Zionist Federation of Australia to say something, along with AJAC. And Veer, where is your Anti-Defamation Commission here? But as usual, when the going gets tough, the tough hinder hide under their dunas. Give them a swastika somewhere and oh boy, they are on the front foot, as they should be, fighting anti-Semitism and fighting for Israel. But when the Islamic community is involved, well then it's not so simple. We have to be respectful of other cultures, they say. We have interfaith relations to protect, they say. And we have to acknowledge our diverse society, they say. But to the Australian Jewish Association, it really is that simple. And what's more, we did try to do something about it a few years ago. In 2018, we approached some Canberra politicians about getting an anti-BDS bill into law. Importantly, this was never intended to stifle individual freedom of speech but rather to make a statement that at a governmental level, it is not acceptable to boycott Israel on the basis of any political views about the Middle East. In other words, it applied only to government-related activities such as tenders and contracts. It did get as far as parliamentary draftsmen preparing a bill, which made it all the way to the office of then Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull, who liked the concept. But here is where things turn sour. Turnbull wanted to know that we had the support of the broad Jewish community for the bill before proceeding. Fair enough. The Rabbinical Council of Australia said, great idea. And the Zionist Federation of Australia, which was under Danny Lamb's leadership at the time, also approved it in principle. But the ECAJ, the Executive Council of Australian Jury said no, and to top it off, we were advised that the premier Israel lobby group in this country, AJAC, the Australia-Israel Jewish Affairs Council, also said no. Had these two central organisations endorsed the plan back then, we might not now have to be deflecting such anti-Semitic BDS activity that is still going on in this country. At the time, the ECAJ and AJAC disgracefully let the Australian Jewish community down. 
and I suspect that the ZFA under its current leadership would now also join that party. The BDS movement is a dangerous, insidious campaign that needs to be vigorously fought. We are doing our bit. It's just a shame that the heavyweight organisations in this country aren't doing theirs. This is Alan Friedman for the Australian Jewish Association.